Yo, dog, Kenny Bechet here, acting host of The Long War, doing another West Coast Guerrilla Battle Report with my boy, Jake. What's up, man? What's going on, Kenny? Mm, man, it's, 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 it's been so long since we played, even though it was just last weekend. Yeah, yeah. At the time we recorded this, it's only been a week, but man, so much has happened, and I'm excited about this game, man, because I'm walking around the GT looking at some armies, uh, and, I, and I see this guy, Jake, this big, tall, handsome military man with big muscles walking around. <laughs> With an orc army, with a stomper, and everyone knows, I mean, orcs are my next shit, and I'm gonna be coming out hard with the, my own stomper and my own Zara Snack the Ripper and my own bike. So I was like, yo, we got to get this game in, but first we gotta get some beers, you know? Oh, without a doubt, without a doubt. We had to slam back a few before the, before the game. And we did, and um, so let's walk them through. Uh, let's do a quick army list breakdown. You were playing orcs. Uh, what's, what's you got? Yeah, so in my orc army, uh, Doing like the classic orcs that you'll see in most tournaments now. It's just like a bike star with a stompa. Um, I do things a little bit different. I, I throw some tank busters and looters in there. Uh, so basically, from top to bottom, the breakdown is uh, two cads, Zard Snark, the uh, pain boy on a bike, two units of uh, biker boys with a knob with boss poles just for the, uh, the stupid mob check rerolls. Um, then you got a unit of Ludas, five man, three mechs in that that uh, sit in the Stampa just to repair it. Uh, another unit of Ludas, I run 12, and I put them in a, uh, a battle wagon just for my backfield objectives. And they uh, they throw fire downrange. For the uh, second CAD, I got a War Boss, Lucky Stick, Power Claw, Bike, kind of a basic loadout on him. That's my favorite War Boss. Only like 120 points, right? Yeah, he's like 130 points, but I mean, a T6 War Boss. You know, weapon skill six with re rolls on like everything. When sitting in a unit and getting shot at with essentially a two up rollable jinx save, if he's with Zat Snark, or at worst a three up three up rollable jinx save. Yeah, it, it especially when the turbo boost, it's it's the it's the new hotness for the orcs. I mean, you gotta it do is, it. It's one of the only hotnesses for the orcs. Yeah, that yeah, and the, sure. 400, the 400 point stompa, like in a lot. I mean, some people are like, oh, that's kind of unfair. It's like, first off, don't get it twisted. A night tight <laughs> is less than 400 points. It has six whole points and a four up and vulnerable against shooting. So let me just ask you real quick statistics. If you have a model that is toughness six um, with three wounds, right? But he has a four up and vulnerable. And then you make the same unit that's toughness six, but he has no save. For them to be the same points, how many wounds does that, that other model have to have if he has no save? I mean, he's at least got to double it. <laughs> double, minimum double. At the right? least. At least. So, like, that's that's the math that Estampa should have been at. He should have been. He's double the whole points with no save of a Night Titan. And he's also initiative one. So, 400 points is honestly a little overpointed. You know, so I think it's on a great addition. The Dread Mob PDF that you can download from Forge gives you access to all this stuff. Um, you know, all, all the cool shit, man. Yeah, but, yeah, no um, doubt. But so it's a, it's a solid list. I love it. I love the board control. I love the diversity. And I'm playing my standard chaos. Everyone knows. The only thing that's different about this list is that we have we have the Cyclopia Cabal in it. Plus we have uh, we went kind of crazy. We took uh, we went Crimson Slaughter for a cab so that we could have Corn Spawn with Scary Terry, aka Crimson Slaughter Lord, on a Juggernaut. He's a Corn Lord on a Juggernaut. I needed to play him. You know, like we painted him on stream. I was like, I need to put him in my list, even though it's kind of weird. I normally run all these Nurgle Spawn everywhere. I got to have this awesome Crimson Slaughter guy, and what I love about him is he has Demon Heart, so he's one of the only ways a Chaos guy can have a 2-up save. 2-up save, Eternal Warrior, you throw uh, Endurance on him, he's literally a chapter master. Oh, know? yeah, no doubt. It's such you a know? beautiful model, too. I mean, you have Thanks, to play man. him. I love it. It was great, and so let's do a quick mission breakdown. Uh, what are we playing here today? Uh, it looks like just a classic Eternal War mission, just the, the three objectives. Three objectives, First Blood, Linebreaker, Slay the Warlord, and Dawn of War deployment right across from each other? Yep, yep. The way the game was meant to be played. <laughs> yeah, old school style. <laughs> old school. Well, anyway, man, let's uh, let's jump right into it. All right, no doubt. And here we go, man. Deployment breakdown with my boy Jake. Yep. Got that. Man, we had a we had a good time this weekend uh, playing some games at eleven o'clock at night. Some OG Chaos Assault versus some OG Orcs. Yep, doing some old school Eternal War mission. Not yeah, yeah, more the. Uh, no more of the ITC missions for the day. It was a fun break. It was a fun break. And it was the three objectives and the standard bonus objectives apply straight across the, the table deployment. I love how your stomp is dead center. Is that a standard tactic for you? Yeah, yeah. Typically, I'll put the stomp on the center just so he can, uh, depending on how my opponent lays out his army, he can swing left to right and kind of kind of help out the rest of my army. Yeah, that's important because you cannot afford to be no deployed with that guy. 
No, you can't. Another reason is also because of his effigy rule. Uh, I try to squeeze in as many units near him at the beginning as I can. Just so if I get hit hard, my orcs are fearless for that first turn. That's super important. So what's the plan here? Uh, you going after some easy first bloods? Yeah, so the plan right now is just uh, because I know you, your Plague Ogren are up top. They're actually behind the wall. So the only option for my tank busters right now is just to shoot the uh, your fortification right there. So I'm just trying to knock off a hull point or two, maybe get a lucky explosion, who knows. And I'm uh, just going to probably use the Stompa and fire at the, uh, the Soul Grinder that you got. You also had, uh, I think you started off actually and just easily, got the easy blow up on the Mauler Fiend. Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I shot over with the Ludas. Uh, actually, the Ludas just took out a Molophine like it didn't exist, giving you that first blood. Everything else is gravy after the first blood. Yeah, yeah, and for, first blood is so clutch in the original Eternal War. All right, so here's my turn one. Pretty simple retaliation. Come forward with all my super fast units. Uh, get some easy charges, um, and most of my stuff, all of my stuff, has some version of a reroll. We're gonna get the. Um, Pandorax uh, Herald out of the escape hatch. Try to bring ourselves in a Bloodthirster, which is all but certain, um, unless you manage to roll like three sixes on three dice. <laughs> yeah. Um, we, bo we boosted up the super squad. We have like four warning sinks. We have the Wombo combo. They're essentially immortal right now. Yeah, I was a little taken back by that. I, I didn't expect the, uh, them to move up so quickly and be such a, uh, a super friend ish kind of unit right there. It's a chaos. It's a chaos style super friends. You can do it with star uh, bike units, uh, dog units. You can do it with uh, spawn. I like spawn because they're near dear to me. But here's two easy charges with two units with fleet. I'm like I'm a, I'm a, I'm a collapse both these units. Well, that, that five doesn't do it. Seven is average. Uh, this guy also has fleet because he's got Marcus Lanesh. Uh, he does it. Um, so I'm like, well, one soul grinder is not gonna just crush this unit. Uh, so that sucked. These guys are looking for a six. They get a reroll because the jump pack didn't move it, didn't use his jump pack in this in the in the phase. Or maybe he did. Maybe I was just raw dog and going off a of six there. <laughs> well, yeah. I got I got that charge. That's an easy crush right there. The soul grinder, however, is he killed some guys, but you know, the war boss is gonna or the or uh Wazdaka. Is it Wazdaka? What's his name? Uh Zart Snark. That yeah, Zart Snark the Ripper. Yep, he, the Ripper. Addition of four strength ten power claw is gonna, gonna do work here. Yeah, he is. Yeah, I don't, he didn't he didn't fish him off, but he, I think he knocked out two or three hole points on him. Yeah, he's on his last wound here. Jake, turn two, man. What's your plan, homie? All right, plan for this turn is uh, I'm going to use the tank buses here to try to plink off as many wounds as I can off that D-Thurster, try to make an easier uh, assault for that Stompa, because the D-Thurster with, like, ten attacks, weapon skill ten. Yeah, you know, essentially a billion, attacks. a billion, a billion. Everything. Yeah, so... I'm trying to also use the Stompa here. Right now I'm using the Belly Cannon, trying to put it on the back of your base so that way I can uh, not hit myself with that Strength 10 Assault uh, weapon there. No, uh, you pull it out. It looks like you peel some wounds off of him. You shoot everyone inside the stomp at him. And you even use those other Ludas back there with the solid 24 shots to just eliminate, just point and delete my other Molochine. Yeah, it's typically how I run the Ludas. They'll just kind of sit back in the battle wagon on a back objective. Uh, Armor 14 on the front, always facing the enemy. And they just sit back and spray down range. I love it, man. It, you know, you've taken out 250 points of Molophines already. Yeah. Uh, you're about to take out 500 points of Stomper right here. And there it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just killed a 275-point Bloodthirster that I only paid 125 points for. Yeah. Well, <laughs> and that's, <laughs> that's the nature of the game. you got to get all those point advantages. But, um... That's what's cool about, you know, having psychic powers is my favorite way to play. Build up combos, try to come up with a way to deal with threats, and that's one of my only ways to deal with that stop. Yeah, no doubt. And here uh, we looks are. Like uh, massive explosion time. Yep. Rolled the big explosion. Coming right to the Super Friends unit, the uh, Chaos Super Friends. Yeah, Scary it's Terry. To get there. Scary Terry is not all about this D-life, uh, about to fall over him. But we get to have a cool, uh, cool conversation here about what happens to all the people inside that Stompa. It's a super heavy walker. And I know you play it, uh, you you typically play it, they get hit by their own explosion. Yeah, normally I have it wherever it scatters, the guys pop out there and then they take the, the you know, the different D-ring kind of hits from the explosion. Um, but it actually doesn't say anything about that in the book. So we went with a conservative, a conservative approach and just pop my dudes out. 
Yeah, because honestly, like I said, it's just a vehicle that has people in it, and I felt like we're just going to vehicle protocol rules, take a penny check. It's not a zooming flyer, you know? So until somebody gives us another reason not to do it this way, you know, we're all ears. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, Buzzgob still, though, uh, actually has to take a separate roll to get out. So for him, on a five up, he lives. Uh, one through four, he dies with the Stompa. I got lucky, and he ended up uh, hopping out. With all, with all those little peoples, and it looks like you have some objective secure Gretchen in there and your five Lutas, or your three Lutas and your two mechs, or is that what it is? Yeah, I got two different units inside that Stompa. The objective secured Grotz uh, to make the whole Stompa objective secured, um, at least in the, the ITC for that. And then uh, the uh, the Lutas right there, I run them with three mech boys for the repair rolls. Smart, smart. And uh, so now going into my turn, I have a pretty easy plan here. I'm gonna break up the star a little bit, send Scary Terry off at, on a longer charge off to, after your Warlord, because I know my Warlord will get your Warlord, because yeah. I'll throw Endurance on him. So I'll have uh, Eternal Warrior, and I'll come and just you know tear you up. And I'm gonna tr just I gotta start taking out these these trucks. That's why I'm separating up. So I gotta start getting board control so you don't just get away with it. And I fail my charge, very, most unfortunate, because I know, I know if I don't get Warlord, it's gonna be very difficult to beat you having you having get first blood. Yeah, me getting that one-up advantage with first blood is pretty pretty crucial to me right now. So I can kind of run my war boss away from you, knowing that mm -hmm. you need that warlord. Yep, because it's like as much as it looks like I have an advantage because I just crushed a the flank there. It's um, you're, we're trading we're trading sides of the table right now. I'm sending demons out after you. I'm doing everything I can. I gotta break through to the center, and you're doing an OG veteran move there where you just circle my warlord and just stand there. Yeah, yeah, you definitely, the, the best thing is move blocking. Uh, to, if I salted you right now, then I'm just giving you a free turn to just kill the crap out of my orcs. So I'm basically forcing you on your turn to have to attack that unit that's that's doing hands across America on you. Yep, and it takes away a whole 12 inch movement. So obviously we crush all the orcs there. Um, it looks like you dack a blaster up my, uh, my blood letters and charge them with Gretchen. It looks like you're just doing everything you need to be doing right now. So I'm sending yet, I sent more demons out no, it looks like uh, that just doesn't matter to you. <laughs> no, no, yeah. Right now, as long as Zark Snark's on your side of the table, uh, way, as far away from your Warlord as I can be, I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy. Yep, and uh, all yeah. my, it looks like you finally uh, got out of the vehicle and finished off the bunker with the tank busters, and now you're going to finish off this unit. So that means you're going to kill my heralds, all my whores. Like, you're doing good in my backfield right now. Yeah, yeah, and it looks like you're about ready to crush out my backfield right now, it looks like classic eternal war struggle just trading sides of the table um and killing as much stuff as we can so, so on your into, turn yeah going into my turn the lutas are uh they see the imminent danger coming their way and they want no part of that so i'm trying to back up even though i know with your 12 inch move you'll get them but by moving them back i'm trying to get you to go as deep into my corner as you can to make it harder for you to go back to the center of the table and now we're just crushing through turns here um, because it's at the end of the game. So I got to get to your backfield. I got to make this charge. I got to kill everything with a combo charge. And then I got to slingshot back out with my consolidation because I combo charge the infantry. And I got to get back to the center of the table to make this game close because you actually have a massive advantage now. You're sitting on two objectives and you have first blood. Yeah. Yeah, right now that's definitely I'm going to try to play a lot more defensively here and just pile in as much as I can on that uh, that center objective, give you units yeah, ev to ev Everything there is objective secure. The bikes are screening the Gretchen. Everyone's doing what they gotta do. Um, you sh looks like you shot up at my cultist unit. One guy survived. Um, doing everything you can to just, you know, try to pull this game down, just to, w to win this game. So you made it easy for me. Gotta come to the center, gotta get some charges. Gotta get that cultist in there and I gotta rely on Scary Terry's lightning claw attacks to like eliminate threats right now um and keep people alive yeah and yeah so definitely that's 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 pretty solid it's just like it is what it is and then we got to see if the game ends and if i have an opportunity to just start crushing everything in your back yeah and then you'll note that i also shot uh zard snark as far away from that combat as i possibly could yep he left the combat so he's no longer a um a player yep you know challenges are being thrown out uh people are getting into combats um you know I'm leaving my guy behind, trying to get uh, line breaker if the game ends, uh, which unfortunately does end. So that's me taking an objective, scoring line breaker. Um, Ludas will kill me next turn if it goes on. <laughs> yeah, the game went and, on. I'm pretty confident there. And that my cultist survived all that because of the way I charged in. So I contest this objective. 
Yeah, because um, of his objective secured and the Grot's objective secured. Yep, and you you own that. There's nothing I can do about that. And you also have Linebreaker, and there's your Warlord. So obviously, it's a it's a draw on objectives. Um, we both have Linebreaker, but you got First Blood, and no one has Warlord. So it's a standard standard Eternal War mission. We played, you know, two and a half hours of game, and and killed everything and moved all around the table bounced back forth and we and you know and that's what i love about og eternal war missions i felt like i was engaged in this game the entire time yeah and that's that's definitely something that you kind of get with the old school eternal war and old school armies chaos space marines and, and orcs it's always a slugfest back and forth so jake great game representing defend hawaii man thanks for joining me today man yeah yeah no thanks for having me on here if you like these tutorials, check out Next Level Painting on Patreon. Become a patron of the arts today. We offer early and exclusive access to our videos and a rewards program for different pledge levels. Patreon is PayPal and credit card secure, so you don't have to worry about that. We use 100% of the money to improve our process.